great sign. Ladies and gentlemen, I just wanted to tell you that for decades in Republican politics, we kept hearing about who can win and who can't win. And we would hear that for years before the actual election day. And I thought, how do you know who can win and who can't win two years from now? And this was the year that the voters said, I'm taking my party and my country back. I will not be told who can win and who can't win and how to think and what to do and how to vote. And this is the year that electability gave into electricity. People valued messages. They valued honesty. They valued vision, aspirational, uplifting messages. And for the first time in decades after telling pollsters, that we, the American people, would like a chance to put somebody in Washington who goes there owing no one anything. Someone who represents truly disruptive change and progress. And somebody who loves America, loves American values, her interests, her allies abroad. And every president loves America and her people. But this man has made a tremendous sacrifice to run for president. A lot of political motivations are power, money, prestige, status. He and his family had all of that. He ran because he loves you. He believes in giving voice and visibility to the forgotten man and the forgotten woman. Draining the swamp. And putting America first. So ladies and gentlemen, God bless you. Merry Christmas. If you celebrate a different holiday, God bless you too. Happy, healthy 2017. This is going to be one of the best years of your life. Thank you.